Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 79 of Direwolf20's Age of Engineering series. Today, I have a minor change. It's up there. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, between episodes, I spent a lot of time. Uh, I actually made this a tier 7 Draconic Orb, which holds about 2.14 trillion RF. Uh, so it's doing its thing. Um, if I got my Draconic Binding tool here, we can see the laser network that is distributed across our base. So you can see uh, basically laser output from there, zips over to there, goes down into the um, wireless crystal that hooks up to a bunch of things, but then also goes down to the basement to handle some basement wiring. Uh, and then that over there, and then that over there. And we also have an output on this side. So it's kind of like a whole network of uh, energy laser relays transferring stuff around. So what did I do in my basement down here? Cleaned up some of the dire wire mess um, as a result of... Uh, this or being in the way of my ME controller, right? So now the ME controller is in the center of this building uh, and, and the wiring is much cleaner as a result, like way much cleaner, as you can see. Um, so I'm pretty happy with the way this all turned out. Like really happy. Um, it looks great and I'm, I'm super pleased. Um, also, did some testing around that weird, like I lose access to my items thing when I'm in a different dimension. It's only the building that I put my item storage in. Not only that, it's only this line for whatever reason, and I don't know why, but like these item crafting recipes are intact. Like when I'm in a different dimension, I can see them. But any items on this line are just for whatever reason, not talking to the controller, right? Um, and it's super weird. Like if we look, right, I've got redstone, for example. Um, and if we look at cabling, Right, or if I just did red, right, we could totally see redstone's a thing, and then like crafting resonating redstone crystals, that's a thing. If I teleport to my old base here, notice how like, like the crafting of resonating redstone crystal is not there, is, is still there. So that means that the crafters in that room are visible on the network, and the, the drives, which I moved into the center of my base, uh, are visible now so like I moved those but for whatever reason the drawers and it used to be the drives too but I moved the drives as a test just don't show it like flickers on and off it's like the craziest thing and I haven't figured out um, what or why that happens um, I think it's a bug but I can't you know be 100% sure um, so with that said, I will probably wind up just moving my item storage drawers out of that room and putting them in this basement area here because I should have the room for that now. Uh, and that should not be a big deal. Um, also, things that I'm going to do is re-enable this for another star production uh, and re-enable you um, active with signal. Cool. I had turned all these things off um, because of the way... Things are misbehaving a little bit in terms of the jungle. And basically, anytime I teleported to another dimension, it was doing Nether Star production and Singularity production because it was losing access to the drives and saying, "Oh, you don't have any Nether Stars." I'll start spawning withers, and then like a second later, the drives would come back and it'd be like, "Oh, you have Wither Star. I'm gonna stop spawning withers." And it was like basically spawning withers when I didn't want it spawning withers, which sounds like a pretty bad thing, but it's really not that big a deal. Uh, so long story short, we are in really good shape with this base. Uh, we've got so many AE channels that we will probably never fill them all up. Uh, we have more than we know what to deal with, and that's awesome. Um, we've got pretty much like an awesome little setup going on here, and we've got plenty of draconic bindings and whatnot. You're still bound to something, sir? You should be, uh, you're outputting, right? Yeah, so let's bind you. I was rearranging some of the wiring in this room, so I may uh, have lost, you know, a, a connection or two here and there as I did things, but I think I rehooked everything up properly. And I think this looks a lot nicer. Um, and eventually I will probably either move or consolidate this down to one quantum ring, because we totally don't need two now. Like this quantum ring is literally doing one channel and this is doing nine. And that's all that's left of the main base. Or our old base, if you will. So what I wanted to work on today um, was tungsten steel ingots. Um, so tungsten steel ingots are basically made as follows. We have to put hot tungsten steel into a vacuum freezer, whatever that is. Uh, and to make hot tungsten steel, we can only make that with a blast furnace. Um, and we combine tungsten ingots with steel ingots, and it takes about 25 seconds. 
um, and it'll produce an ingot of hot tungsten steel. Um, so blast furnace and freezer is what we need to make today. So a blast furnace is on the docket. So let's get crafting on a blast furnace. And if I was a smart man, which I'm not, uh, I probably would have done this off camera a little bit, but that's okay. So advanced machine block. So we're gonna need nickel and copper in a rolling machine. Hey, there's that machine that I said, do I really need this hooked up to anything? The answer is yes. So you're gonna go into my IC2 room, wherever you are, IC2 room. So I've got like some things over here. Rolling machine might, uh, this thing's here. I could, no, uh, that's not good. Every now and then I find dead spots of oxygen in my base. Uh, well, you're all the things over here, right? So I could stick you like right here, Mr. Rolling Machine. And you accept low tier power. Is that what's over here? Is low tier? Uh, that is low tier. Uh, well, that's medium right there, and low goes down to here. So if I wanted a low tier power set, I should maybe consider putting him here, because this is the low area, right? Uh, so let's do that. We will get our wrench from Tech Reborn, because I don't want any explosions. Uh, and then we'll also want some cabling. We're gonna want a decent amount of this stuff, because in a moment, we're gonna have all kinds of things happening. So no explosions? Yay, rolling machine. Now, I wasn't able to get this thing, that I remember now. So I do have to craft with this manually, um, which is fine. Um, last. Furnace. So we need four Cooper nickel heating coils, uh, which we get three of from copper and nickel. So let's get copper and nickel. I've got so much, I'm just gonna make a bunch and we'll be cool. So I forget which goes in the corners here, but hopefully I'm remembering correctly. I think the answer is I did not remember correctly. There we go, now we're cruising. Uh, so that is processing and is gonna make me a bunch of those Cooper nickel thingies. Um, and then now for the blast furnace, we're gonna totally want a couple advanced circuits and an advanced machine block. So I can get like two of you and an advanced machine block. And then I think it was two electric furnaces, right? So it's gonna need two regular circuits and two regular, well, we need a regular furnace. Let's get uh, circuits first. We'll get two of you. We'll get two furnaces. We'll bump those up to electric furnaces, which are just these. So we're gonna want, let's get about because you always need a few of them, and I've got enough iron that I'm not going to worry about it. Right, so iron furnaces times two, electric furnaces times two, and then blast furnace should now totally be doable once I get these guys out of here. And that's cool. Now what, what does this look like and how does it work? I'm imagining there's a multi-block hologram. So it goes at the base of what looks to be a bunch of these things. Is there anything in here that's not that block? So this goes at the bottom, unlike the other multi-block we've got down there that goes in the middle. So remember I said uh, last episode, oh, why did you have to do that? Why, 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 why? Look, it breaks my chisel blocks, by the way. Rendering derp. There we go. And then when you break replace, it fixes it in that chunk. Cool. Um, so, blast furnace. That can definitely go in this room. So I was thinking, remember, this was going to be my advanced rocketry uh, slash item storage and void mining. So what I'm going to do is, I haven't decided if I want this above or below ground, um, but what I'm thinking is we could have this blast furnace. Um, if we put it here, what would this look like in terms of multi-blocking it? That looks like it would just barely fit, right? So we could put the blast furnace there. I also wanna map out what this is gonna look like. So let me turn off your multi-block for a sec and fix. That. Uh, I wanna get the, the, the cooler, the freezer thing, and see what that's gonna look like. So that requires a vacuum freezer, uh, which is an ice shard from forestry. 
Wah, wah, wah. Now I remember why I didn't do this. That's unfortunate. Icy bees. Well, I don't think that's so bad because they come out of, well, like, let's see, ice shards. Icy and glacial uh, can make ice shards. Um, icy, so glacial probably comes from icy. It does. And icy comes from wintry and industrious. And wintry is what we get out of winter uh, hives. So we have to do like what I, I we're gonna have to do what I would call a significant amount of bee breeding um, to get what we need to get here, um, which isn't the end of the world. I could do it. Um, the annoying part of this is just the waiting. It's not hard to set up. It's annoying to just sit there and wait and wait and wait for the bees to do their beely duties, which is, you know, die. Um, so we do have more bees, which gives us mutating frames, which is cool. We just need some short mead and a carpenter with an impregnated frame, soul sand and royal jelly. So in order to get mutating frames, we need royal jelly, which comes from imperial bees. So that's a whole nother bee line set. Um, so that, this bumps up your production, genetic decay, mutation rate is lower, um, sweet frame, Yeah, so there's no frame that like rapidly kills the bees and there's no frame that helps you mutate a little bit better until you get up to a decent amount of bee time. Let me come back in a minute because I'm thinking I might want to go ahead and just add Gendistry to the pack, which, you know, is a little bit of cheesing the pack. But frankly, doing bees without Gendistry doesn't sound like a good time to me. Uh, so I might go ahead and just do that. Oh, hey, look at that. There's a new mod in the pack. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, I would rather do bees with Gendistry, so I decided to add Gendistry to the pack. Personal opinion, personal preference. Your mileage may vary. But Gendistry helps you um, do take away some of the waiting for bee breeding. So a lot of bee breeding is about, like, luck and waiting. Um, and I'm just eliminating that variable uh, so that it's more about, like, you know, automation and control. Um, which is what I like to do when I play modded Minecraft, which is why I like Gendistry for my bee breeding needs. Cool. Uh, so just relogged and added that mod and all that good stuff. So let's uh, do stuff with Gendistry, shall we? Um, so to do a lot of the Gendistry stuff, we're going to need to set up some recipes. Oh, I forgot to wire this. There's a cable that I forgot about. <laughs> Not that I needed him until this like exact moment, but uh, yeah. So technically, I could probably just tap into this line. So we only have nine out of so many channels in use. Uh, if I ran this like so, would anybody think ill of me? Will that work? So will that bump me up to like 12 channels in use? Will that connect like that or no? Yeah, 12 channels in use, beautiful. So you're online? Nice, okay, cool. So Gendistry, uh, which is cool. Now the annoying thing is this happens, right? Um, so what we could do is grab the mutagen producer. So there's a lot of stuff in here that we need to automate, right? So power module, that's a thing. Um, so some of these are components, right? So we'll need some bronze gears and pistons. So let's get, do you not know how to make bronze gears? It's time for you to learn. Bronze gear is just four bronze. So that should be a quick Four bronze equals a bronze gear thing. And we've got some extra patterns hanging around, right? Because we're going to need some in a minute. Yeah, and make 30 more while you're at it. Sweet. Uh, so where's my... There it is. Which one use the gear press? I think it's that one in the back. Now, people kept telling me I can just drop my items on here. That's kind of cool. Hey, look at that. I guess it's working. Yeah, sweet. I didn't know I could drop items directly on that. Cool. So that makes a bronze gear. And you're going to go into the gear thingy. Um, oh, yeah, those are some items I had dropped in there as item storage. All right, so mutagen producer. We're also going to need some pistons. And we'll see what other cool stuff we need. So for a mutagen producer, we're going to need power modules. I want you to know how to make these. 
Uh, you also know bronze gears, bronze ingots, hoppers. You want to know how to make mutagen tanks. You should probably know how to make that. Do you know how to make glass panes yet? You do. So that should be a quickie. Go ahead, glass pane. Probably, you know, cobblestone to gravel, gravel to sand, sand to glass is happening right now, I would imagine. Yep, probably. Sweet. Um, and then what else from this mod will we probably want to know how to make? So B receptacles. Do you know how to make the gold pressure plate? No, not yet, but you're about to learn. Cool. And then uh, the other thing that you need to know how to make is this thing. Uh, how about an upgrade frame? Learn how to make that for me. Cool. Uh, anything else in here that looks like super interesting? No, I think we're pretty cool for now. Uh, and if we come up with anything else we need to know how to make, we will figure it all out. So into the molecular assemblers, you guys go. One thing about this interface is you can't shift click into it. But that's not the end of the world. All right, so let's get uh, some things. So the apiary, the industrial apiary. I should probably even teach you how to make one of these. Because that's a thing you're going to want a bit of. Uh, so we're going to need some glass. Just regular glass works. And a bee receptacle. It's going to be like 100 of this for now real quick. Uh, and that should be cool. Okay. So the industrial apiary is cool um, because it's like a powered apiary that's way better than the apiaries you would get otherwise. So we'll be able to get much better bee results by using the Gendistry apiary over the regular apiary. And I'm sure if uh, this mod was part of this pack, he would have made these blocks much more expensive. Mm -hmm. But like I said, meh. I'm just here to make my life a little bit easier. So that's what I'm gonna do. So let's get a few industrial apiaries. Uh, like four, does that sound cool? Now, I don't know what biome we're technically in at this point, um, but you're working on all the things. So you're making a bunch of bronze and you're gonna make some bronze gears and you're making me apiaries, which is cool. Let's get the few that I've got thus far, AKA one, and see what it says about, so no queen, no power. Are you gonna tell me what the uh, environment looks like here or no? I could just get a regular apiary and have you tell me about the environment here. I just thought you would tell me on this UI. Let's go back to our old base. Pop through here. Uh, how are you guys doing? Not terrible. So I'm going to actually take all of you. The bees are stinging me in case, you know, that wasn't clear. Sweet. We have a lot of things going on here. Uh, there you are. That's nice. Actually quite a decent amount of things. Uh, and I'm going to need a piston for you, mister. Come on. There you are. That's that thing that keeps happening I was telling you guys about. Hey. And a lever. Cool. Uh, and I guess I could even take these guys back with me. Not that I'm hurting for item conduits, but... Hopefully the planes upgrades and all the other stuff isn't too terrible. All right, back to the space station. Because what I want to do is stick the apiary in the space station and see what forestry considers this biome to be. Uh, it is a warm slash normal biome. Eh, that's funny. <laughs> that is kind of funny to me. And am I right uh, in assuming that like all areas of my base are probably the same? Yeah, warm slash normal. All right, well, that's not terrible. The other nice thing is that um, there's always access to the sky. Like, it's always day in this world. So, all right, back in a minute when I'm ready to set up more. So if this room is going to be a tree farm slash mob farm, I'm thinking the tree farm might be in, like, the center of this room, and there's going to be, like, dirt and stuff anyway. 
So maybe this would be a nice place to have some apiaries set up as well. Um, so let's get like a handful. I'm gonna get two more apiaries just so that it looks cool. Uh, and we'll kind of go from there to see like what all is necessary. And this might also be like our genistry room for processing and setting up whatever we need to process with genistry. I kind of forget how the mod works all together. I've played with it a little bit. Um, but we'll get there pretty quickly and we'll figure out pretty soon uh, how things will work. Um, and it shouldn't be too bad to get up and running. So that would be cool. So two more apiaries. Let's set up our power flow. So what I'm gonna do is get wireless. Uh, we're also gonna want our exchanger, which I have on me. We're gonna want some thickened glass. Just one should be good. And a, I think one relay crystal should be cool. Uh, so what I'll do, I think I want this wireless to be here. We will exchange you because I like it to be like a clear block going through there. And then I'm pretty sure this gets connected to this. And if I still have this dude, is that a straight line? Yeah, it looks like it. And then this thing here, and now you can distribute your energy to these guys. Nice. Beautiful. That's what I like to see. All right, cool. So the industrial apiary uh, can work just like the other things, right? Um, so ender queens, right? So if we want to keep these guys running, uh, we just need to have like a dragon egg can just chill here. That would be fine with me, I guess. Um, and then we'll probably at least want a piece of dirt uh, with at least one flower on it. Hey, you sit still for a sec. I've got the allium, so that should be fine. Cool. That should be good. So then um, you guys should ha be happy. So it's too hot here, but we can deal with that in a minute. Uh, and how uh, does this Meadows dude look? He looks like he's too hot as well. Temperature, warm, humidity, normal. So you're a little too hot as well. So we'll have to set up like a plains biome thing. So out of curiosity, what would be involved in getting a plains biome chip climate control module environmental processor and grass blocks should be able to pull that off uh ch -ch 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 -ch. all right so this should be the planes module that i need uh so i dropped this guy in the assembler with a couple other things i just added there and now we should be cool so basically what this does is for a little increase in power cost it tricks the apiary into thinking it's in a plains biome, which makes the bees totally pleased with their current environment. Nice. So that should be cool. So probably just a bunch of bronze and uh, bronze gears going on right now, but that shouldn't be too bad. Um, so that's neat. So cruising right along, one more to go. So yeah, the bronze gears, they're a little bit slow in that stamper. Um, if I was worried about the speed of them, I would be all right. So if I go pop this dude, where did I put my farmings? Oh, there they are, on the opposite side of the space station. What I need to do is get my travel anchors in place because that would make my life a lot easier. So like, let's say we wanted um, Mr. Meadows to be happy, right? These four slots are your upgrades. So now for the cost of a little bit more power, um, cool, energy required is 24 RF a tick. So this increases energy consumption by 20% not a big deal right um and then we can throw other upgrades in there to make this guy do other cool stuff but let's get the mutatron and whatnot um because those things are important so mutagen producer will do like it says on the tin it produces mutagen which is a liquid that's going to help us mutate bees into new types of bees which should be cool uh so let's get a hopper uh what else do we need for a mutagen producer two power modules two bronze gears and a mutagen tank right um so two power modules two bronze gears which i'm going to instead request like 20 of because you need a lot of bronze gears for this mod as you may or may not have noticed um and that should be cool to get a mutagen producer coming in pretty soon uh so yeah lots of bronze gears required for all the things in this mod so 
Mutagen producer. And I'm pretty sure I just dropped like redstone in there. And that's it. Uh, so let's get a tank while we're waiting. Um, just one of these types of tanks should be just fine. Uh, and we'll see how much of that we need. And we'll probably set up some kind of smartness with conduits and whatnot, but we will get there once I figure out what I want to do. Because long story short is uh, once we get everything set up, I'll probably have a better idea of how one block flows into the next. It's been a long enough time that I kind of forget, right? So mutagen producer, right, um, goes here. And this thing just gets power, I believe. Boom, device is linked. Nice, so he stores five million RF, good times. And I think all I do is throw stuff like redstone in there. So I, I, I don't know if there's like any indication of how mutagen is made. Mutagen producer. I don't know if JEI has any plug in there. I know redstone is one of them. I don't know if there's others. All right, so drop a fluid tank on there. It looks like it auto outputs to the tank. So that's kind of cool. Uh, and then we're gonna want an advanced mutatron. Um, so there's two versions. The advanced mutatron is the one we want. Um, so we're gonna want some, all kinds of things. So uh, bronze gear, three B receptacles, a power module. Um, so we're gonna want one of you, three of you and a power module. Um, Mutatron, is that pretty much it? Oh, and the green genetics processor chip. Cool, but the advanced Mutatron is just better in every way. So we want two more genetics and one power module. And that's cool. So the advanced Mutatron, pretty much better in every way. Um, just because I said so. Uh, I'm pretty sure the advanced Mutatron lets you pick which um, outputted species of bee you're gonna get. Um, and then we're also gonna want us have, um, what are these things called? It's labware, is that what it's called? I need labware. Uh, and that's not a terrible thing to make anyway. I may or may not at some point add a recipe to this. Can you just, like be a pal. Cool, easy peasy, nice. All right, so say we wanted to get, um, let's get, what do we got princess wise here? We've got an ignoble, we've got an ignoble, we've got a wintry pristine, so that's kind of cool. I might want to hang on to him. Uh, that's really all I have for princesses. How about this guy? Is he pristine? He is. So let's, we should have plenty of drones, right? We've got a ton of drones. So let's take this forestry and meadows. Uh, we're gonna combine these guys here by picking this up. And eventually what I'll probably just do is skip the tank and do piping, right? So we've got mutagen, so meadows, forestry. Normally we'd have to breed these guys together. We can just click a button and derp, 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 derp and it cruises right along, and hopefully gives me a common bee. Nice, common queen. So that automated them for me, and then I can drop him in here, uh, and he's going to live out his life cycle and give me a princess and a drone. Now if I would like to, which I do, um, what I'd like to make is, what's the name of the thing that I want now? It's a thing, so here's all your upgrades, right? You can get light upgrades, which make it so that they work even at night, which we don't need here because we're in an internal day age, right? Flowering upgrade increases pollination, um, different upgrades for like different environments. Uh, and one of the nice ones is the lifespan upgrade, which reduces their lifespan. And you can have up to four of these installed. So what I'm gonna go do is teach this thing how to make these lifespan upgrades because I want you to have them. Lifespan. Upgrade, there you are, cool. So you probably don't know how to make these yet, but now you do. Uh, and then I want you to make, give me one of those. Upgrade frame, check, check, check. And into the assemblers you go. And I'd like, let's just get four of them for now. 
Missing mushrooms. Really, I only have like one mushroom? Interesting. Um, can I put those? I wonder if mushrooms, I don't think I have one here. But I bet I have one at my old base that's probably not super duper in use right now. Um, hi sheep, how did you get in here? Hey you, could I put mycelium and mushroom in you? Like is that a thing that you will do? By chance? It looks like you are. Well looky at that, would you? Well would you look at that? Magna go away for a sec. This whole setup still exists over here and I should probably stop it. Because I'm really not even using it a little bit. Uh, so that's cool. I'm excited about that existing. Do you have more bone meal? That speeds it up even more, but not until it finishes up this line of fertilizer, which will take a minute. Uh, but that should be cool, at least for now. I'll let that run and then later on we'll have more. So can I get my lifespan upgrades now, times four? Beautiful. Okay, back to the space station. So in all that time, our B progressed about 30%. I'm going to throw the lifespan upgrades in there, which should make him last far less. Um, and then next time the cycle ticks over, uh, he should be like nearly dead, if not already dead. And we'll have our princess and drone. So yeah, that, that drone died very quickly. So that's cool. Um, also want to get another thing here. Uh, let's get... Uh, I'm thinking what I want to do is get samples so let's teach you how to make a blank sample real quick that's not terrible recipe wise um because i want to get a sampler to sample these genetic traits so let's get a sampler uh it doesn't look too bad four bronze gear a green a power module and a b receptacle power module a green a b receptacle Sampler, cool, just a couple more bronze gears and we're good to go. Uh, so this thing will be able to analyze the traits of a bee and copy them onto templates that we can then imprint on other bees later. Um, and I'll tell you why I wanna do that in a little bit, but first thing I should do, uh, do I have, do I have that, did I make that thing from forestry that lets you read bee traits? Did I do that? The Bealizer? Yeah, Portable Analyzer. Oh, it's called the Portable Analyzer now? It used to be called the Bealizer. It used to be called the Bealizer. And that was a cool name. All right, so I need redstone, four tin, two glass panes, redstone, and a diamond. And that needs to go into a forestry machine with, I can replace this one for a sec. I'll put you back in a minute, I promise. I don't even know if I have like an interface hooked up to this thing or not. I forget. Make that for me, would you? Cool. Okay, so that's cool. Done and done. And it must be hooked up to something because it, it took it away. But you can go back in there and you can make stuff for me and everybody's happy. All right, so portable uh, bee analyzer, good to go. So that stuff needs liquid honey, which we need to get some of from our combs. So we have a bunch of honeycombs, which is kind of nice. Uh, these can get processed in the centrifuge, which we should have some of. We have a centrifuge. Where is it? Is this the centrifuge? So I could, so remember this is set up to like do stuff, right? I wish I knew what this socket was for. But if I just drop this in here, it'll process them. So I'm getting blazing electron tubes and I think we want a soldering tool. 
which I may or may not have access to. So it's a carpenter with bronze and three iron. Bronze and three iron. And while I'm at it, let me get my piece of wood back. Because we know we're going to need that in a sec. So something like that. Yeah, that was it. Sweet. So I'm going to try soldering this. So I looked on the wiki. It looks like you can get speed boosts with blazing electron tubes, which sounds cool. You can also do it with emerald. So emerald electron tubes will give you a speed boost of one. Blazing is speed boost two, which I assume is better than speed boost one. Uh, so in theory, I think I just put um, electrical engine, machine upgrade, automatic farm, manual farm. So machine upgrade, the blazing electron tubes go here, that's speed boost two, and boom, now we have, cool, neat. So if I stick this in here, does that speed it up a little bit? That seem faster? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, but we're getting pretty close to the wrapping up point. So let's do some honey, which I'm starting to get, which is nice. And let's go check on our bees. So I didn't automate these at all yet. Um, to do list item, automate. Uh, you can. There's even like an automation upgrade that like literally you put this in and it'll automatically put the princess and drone back into the slot. Like you don't even have to pipe anything. It's the greatest. Um, so that's cool. So we can like analyze our drones now and we can see like all the traits of the drones. Now with the genetic sampler uh, and uh, the genetic, whatchamacallit, these things, uh, it, it destroys the drone to do this. So don't do it with a princess, only do it with a drone. Um, but you can totally put these guys in here. We also need some labware. Uh, and we put like a drone in there and we can get one of the drone's traits. And it takes a few seconds to operate, but we'll get an imprinted gene from that gene sampler. Cool. Um, so while that's cooking, do we have an extra crate laying around? I would think that we do. So that's cool. So we just got cave dwelling false. So that's a pretty awful thing to get. If I smelt this, um, it, it just, it destroys it. So I don't care about the cave dwelling trait. Uh, so what I will probably do is smelt this. I think I could probably just throw it in here. Or not. I can throw it in some other smelter. But long story short, um, can I throw it in here? Yeah. Sweet. So that gave me that blank pattern back. So, uh, we just got one of the traits of, of a common drone. Um, so if we wanted to, like, there's some other cool drones in here, right? Um, so if we wanted to get some traits off the forest or meadows drone, we easily could. Um, here's another common drone that we don't need now. See how quickly this guy died? So we'll get a bunch of common drones. My, my purpose is that I'd like to get at least one of the um, species attribute of each of the types of drones that we're going to get. So I'd like to get the species attribute of common before I upgrade this common to the next tier, which is cultivated. And then we'll kind of go from there. Um, see, so we can do this. And then we can throw, so that's a temperature tolerance none. That's a terrible trait. I don't want that trait. Um, and then we basically just keep throwing drones in here until we get the trait of species equals common. And once we have that, we will be able to make any drone a common drone, which is cool. Territory average. Both of these are terrible, so I'm going to go uh, smelt them up into nothingness because, yeah, nobody wants you. Cool. Cool. So definitely wrapping up point for the episode. Uh, we will come back next time. Maybe make a quick automation upgrade. Um, piston and gear and upgrade frame. And piston. I seem to like need pistons every now and then. So does that mean we have everything we need here? Yeah, we do, right? So just sticking this in here. Now when this common queen dies, immediately the princess and drone will go right back in and it'll start running automatically. So that's slick. All right, Dial 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time to do more stuff with bees, hopefully, and possibly some other cool stuff. For now, take it easy.